let's study something new that is how to design an intelligent system now what is an intelligent system intelligent system is a part of artificial intelligence where we can design systems which can work more efficiently or similar to how humans work so this particular video we are going to see how we design an intelligent system using peas now what are these peas how does it affect designing an intelligent system we will see in this particular video what is an intelligent agent is the most important thing that we should know but before going into what is an intelligent agent it says ai deals to design intelligent agents what is ai ai is artificial intelligent artificial intelligence is where we design systems and we train systems to work as efficiently or even sometimes more effortlessly and tirelessly like humans so that we able to get, get great results so here when we i'm designing an ai what i need is an intelligent agent so how do i define this intelligent agent agents are softwares designed to think intelligently after sensors receive the input from the environment think and the actuators then perform the actions on the environment and then it goes into a perception loop or it continuously senses things and act so it becomes a complete looping environment till we achieve whatever we desire for now as it is said agents are software design so we can say this particular block is an agent now what are these agents these agents can be human agents if we take it with respect to humans these are eyes and ears organs and senses when we say agents with respect to robotic agents then they are cameras sensors where they are able to get something from the environment then there's a third type of agent that exists is a software agent software agent is nothing but the input the function receives now after having an agent this something the agent has to think intelligently but the thinking happens whenever the sensors receive something from the from the environment so another important part of an intelligent thing is intelligent agent is an environment from where it gets its input so this environment provides the input to the sensors now when it gives its input to the sensor the sensors perceive or the sensors start to think when they start to think it goes into a continuous process and then the actuators come into picture now what are these actuators i said agents in case of human agents were ears organs and eyes and actuators in terms of humans are hand legs mouth that is whenever we receive something from the eyes or the ears the hands and the legs come into action and when we come into action there is what we act upon and then it goes into the environment again as soon as we see something our hands and legs work with respect to whatever is happening outside if it starts to rain as soon as we feel something on the screen we open our umbrella and then we feel that it is raining so we open up the umbrella so that is how from the environment the agent and the sensors perceive it goes into a thinking process the actuators act upon it and then we respond to that particular environment this is a basic simple diagram of how the agent works and responds to the environment let's see how it actually works now this is an intelligent agent i've taken an example of a smart car or a self driven car you can see the things blinking over here are its sensors now how the smart car works or a self driven car works with respect to this intelligent agent is the agent here the complete body is a car so this car we have to see how it works with the environment the agent is a car environment is when i'm driving this car throughout what all thing i need to do for this environment i perceive the sensors 
perceive what is happening in the environment and the car is driving as there are no obstructions in the car the sensors don't see anything they just think there's nothing in the car there's no obstructions outside the car sensors don't get any signal so actuators don't respond and car just moves smoothly so this is the perception of the car it works with now we'll see what are the p's that act upon it so the environment perceives agents sensors and the car is moving smoothly now when the car is moving smoothly and it detects a road divider in the front so what has happened the sensors which are installed over here they see a road divider so it goes into this thinking process that it goes into the thinking process actuators say it has to stop so it acts upon the environment the environment outside is the speed breaker so it stops if we remove the speed breaker the car will start to function so what has happened is from the environment the sensors perceived the speed breaker it thought about it that it should stop actuator stopped it and it acted upon it and the car stopped this is how it happened when there was a speed breaker in the front so we see what is the speed for this intelligent agent for this self driven car so car is driving smoothly and here the car is going on a bumpy ride so what are things that we need to take care of and what is this speed p stands for performance measure environment actuators and sensors so what is a performance measure in case of a self driven automatic car it is my drive has to be safe it can be fast but it has to be legal and the trip has to be comfortable even if the both the cases that i have shown whether the car was driven straight or the car was going on a bumpy ride my sensors have to work intelligently for me the performance measure is the ride has to be safe fast legal and the trip has to be comfortable so what is the environment the roads that are the traffic that comes and the pedestrians that is the environment i need to take care of when i say other traffic i also need to take care of the speed breakers that come in between if i'm driving fast and suddenly the speed breaker comes and i apply a brake i can lead to an accident so i have to be careful about actuators is a steering wheel accelerator brake signal and horn that is if i saw a speed breaker in front my brakes have to be on so the sensors over here have to come into action as soon as we see any of these actuators coming into picture and the last is the most important part are these sensors that is the cameras the light in the radars the speedometers gps odometer engine sensors and keyboard so all these are the sensors which play a very crucial role so when these sensors are working perfectly my performance my environment to which i have to act upon and the actuators will come into action if the sensors are not working then there is a problem so this is a performance measure environment actuator and sensor for my self driven car now let's see p's for a medical diagnosis system so it is healthy patient the cost should be less and have to follow ethics so that there are no lawsuits that needs to be followed so that there are no cases that come up so this is my performance measure where i'll be measuring my medical diagnosis system environment obviously is the patient the first important thing hospital staff administrative staff and the doctors so that is the environment where i'll be working on actuators now how do we do it questions have to be asked tests to be conducted diagnosis to be done and the treatment to be given sensors are symptoms findings and the patient's answers so this whole system when combined together gives a piece for a medical diagnosis system these can be designed for different kinds of systems that you can design for 
But here we've taken an example of the two scenarios. One is a self-driven car and a medical diagnosis system. Thank you.